Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play Forge. Let us begin. Yeah, I will play. Since I want the coin toss anyway, I will keep this hand. I think this is an acceptable hand to have. Let's put down a forest card and let's see. Ah, uh, we're playing against Gideon Jura again. I hate this fucker. I so fucking hate him. This is gonna be one of those matches which really sucks. So he summoned Precinct Captain, which is a 2 slash 2 human soldier creature with first strike and with whenever Precinct Captain deals combat damage to a player, create a 1 slash 1 white soldier to creature token. Yeah, he will manage to do damage to us. So there's a wi here the white creature token. Let's finally summon Giant Spider so that we can defend ourselves. Let's also summon another giant spider so we can continue to defend ourselves. He summoned the Expedition Raptor, which is a 2 slash 2 flying bird creature, which has when Expedition Raptor enters the battlefield support 2. So he put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on, on his white soldier token and a plus 1 plus 1 counter on his precinct captain. So that sucks. We will have to defend ourselves somehow, but right now we just do not have the capabilities of doing that. So let's just, uh, let's be wary is all I'm going to say. So he will use Precinct Captain to attack us. I will block him with my giant spider. And to be sure we win this, I will also cast Aggressive Urge on my giant spider to give it a plus one plus one boost. So he could be able to defend the off against him. So he summoned, he cast Gideon Jura, which is a Planeswalker card. And uh, which starts off with 6 loyalty. Right now he's at 6 loyalty. And uh, for plus 2 loyalty he can, during target opponent's next turn, creatures that player controls attack Gideon Jura if able. Then for minus 2 he can destroy target tapped creature and for 0 he can until the end of turn Gideon Jura becomes a 6 slash 6 human soldier creature that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that the that would be dealt to him this turn. Yeah, this kind of sucks. Not gonna lie, this kind of fucking sucks. Let's not do anything for the moment. So he cre he turned Gideon Jura, Jura into a 6 slash 6 creature. That doesn't surprise me. Let's cast Ambuscade. And use it on Ron as the Indominatable to destroy his... Uh, his Precinct Captain or Rix. Expedition Raptor. No, he's Precinct Captain. That's what I want to prioritize for the moment. Let's destroy his Precinct Captain. He will attack us with Aerial Responder and uh, I will block him with both Giant Spiders. And remove... Uh, ah, I did not remove Expedition Raptor from his side of the deck, which really sucks. Let's summon Greater Sandworm now. Oh, we cannot. We don't have the mana necessary. So let's summon Honored Hydra in instead. Now let's Alpha Strike him with everything we've got. Now let's summon Greater Sandworm. And now he's kind of in a really difficult position because he has to block. He, he is in a really bad spot. Yeah, we fucking won this game. Yeah, this is fine. Sure. Yeah, I will be getting a forest card, so that was revealed to the AI, but that won't really matter, and we won this game. So, uh, he, Unwanted Tower of Champions has been removed from his deck, thanks to this. That was a really nice game, I really like that. And it was to our advantage. Yes, I will also keep this hand, we will go in second because we won last time. Let's put down a forest card and let's hope for the best. Let's put down another forest card. Cannot summon Prowling Serpo Par just yet. So we need to keep that in mind. He summoned Vizier of Deferment, which is a 2 slash 2 human cleric 
creature with, with flesh and with the ability of when Vizier of Deferment enters the battlefield, you may exile target creature if it attacked or blocked this turn. Return that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Not really that impressive. Let's summon Prowling Serpopar now. You will not be able to attack us with Vizier of Deferment while we have Prowling up Serpopar down the field. Let's... Uh, he summoned those who serve, which is a 2 slash 4 zombie creature with no effect. And the Gideon's Lawkeeper, which is a 1 slash 1 human soldier, which has the effect of for 1 mana he, he can tap a target creature. That really sucks. We need to prepare in advance for that. So he did uh, tap one of my creatures, as I he expect he would have. So we cannot use uh, Prowling's uh, Observal Part right now to attack him, because uh, we are because Prowling Observal Part has been tapped. What did he just do? He used Excoriate, which is a sorcery, to exile target tapped creature. That fucking sucks. <clears throat> Let's summon Scaled Behemoth now. And this is going to be <coughs> particularly interesting. He summon another Vizier of Deferment. This is quite interesting. Let's summon uh, Sifter Worm. Yeah, we'll be getting another Sifter Worm and then two more Forest cards. I like that. So another Sifter Worm would definitely be welcome. Let's attack him with skill Behemoth now. He did not block, as I expected he wouldn't. Let's summon another Sifter Worm. Let's... can we move Prowling up several part to the end of the deck? Because I really don't need that. Actually, no, I, no, that's fine. He can stay there. Why not? The more creatures, the fucking better. Let's attack him with skill Behemoth once again. Let's summon a Feral Prowler and a Willy Bandar. And now let's attack him with skill Behemoth and Sifter Worm. So now he has to block me to defend himself. And now he's... He's attacking Sifter... He's blocking Sifter Worm with Vizier of Deferment and those who serve. Between th th these two, I would rather prioritize those who serve, because uh, it just has greater toughness, so it's harder to crack. So it's lethal for him, and it will also be lethal for Vizier of Deferment. So Gideon's Lawkeeper is the only creature left on inside of the field beside Expedition Raptor which he just summoned right now. Yeah, he is just fucking dead. Let's just alpha strike him with everything we've got and we fucking won. That was... that went better than I expected it would work. Usually when I play against Gideon Jura he uses a lot of cheap fucking tactics to win me over. But this time he was surprisingly lenient. Like, I had absolutely no fucking issues. Anyway, let's get uh, a card from Hour of Devastation. And from that we get Shoulder to Shoulder, which is a sorcery card which would cost one white mana and two other mana to cast. And what this does is that it uh, offers support to... So basically I get to choose up to two target creatures to place... A plus one plus one counter on each of them and also when I cast shoulder to shoulder I get to also draw a card mm, you know what that's not that great but it's not terribly bad e either so now we're at a win streak of one let's look at our quest decks and see exactly where we are at I kind of want to add more uh, more creatures which have intense toughness to them. The more creatures the better. I 
I don't know which I want honestly let's let's go with two query haulers why not now we're back to up to 60 cards this I hope this is pretty fine anyways thank you very much for watching and uh, if you want to get in touch with me i have a master the dawn account as well as a matrix room the details of which you can find in the description of this video and in the meantime thank you very much for watching and see you next time